Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Rogue Genesia. I have not played this in uh, quite some time. Oh, I don't actually have access to Rogue's mode or Survivor's mode. Please tell me the Soul Shop still. Okay, good. So we have access to all of these. Oh, and C rank. Eh, no, looks like C rank's about the same. Did anything change in the D rank? It might have a couple more. Ascended card drop chance. No, no, I had that. And levels at once for the tainted cards. Yeah, no, this seems to be about the same. Yeah, I, I think this was in beta for a while, but I just wanted to give this some time. Ooh, but we have D rank runs. So that's, I think, exactly what I'm going to do. So challenge. Oh, we, at we attach challenges to this. Rogs mode is a different thing. I'm a fool. Uh, so challenges, if I want to add all of these, it looks like not a whole lot of new challenges. Actually, possibly none. But let's take a look at talents. Passive talents, unlock talents. Oh, okay. So we have a couple of pal passive talents, but we don't have an... Oh, we do have an active one. So each of these applies to a non-evolving weapon or something to that extent. So I get to choose which I like. Well, which one do I not like? Which one do I not care for? Actually, which one of these has an evolution I don't have? Like maybe cleaver? Start with the cleaver. So do these just give me it as a starting item? Maybe. Because the easiest one is shuriken. Let's go with the shuriken. I haven't played this in a while and I want to see what all of these do. So we also have... Increased drop rate of fire cards by 5%, attack speed by a little bit, damage by a little bit. Ooh, moon, sun, wind. Tainted and ascended card drop chance by 100%. Projectile every 30 levels up to 3 projectiles. Yes. Uh, every 25 levels, your card selection only has hero cards. And I don't have anachronistic unlocked. So I think we're going to just dive into this. We can also be a different character. We can be the gunslinger, but I need 12 weapons up to level 1. And then also... Shopkeeper, worth of an investment. Uh, so I got to dump a bunch of money into him. So we also have the Rogue, who is a different playable character. Lower health, less gold, smaller projectile, smaller area, faster move, less damage, higher crit chance, higher crit damage, higher defense piercing dash. Okay. Max additional projectiles are lower, but our attack speed goes up. Oh, our maximum. Okay, so in this case, I didn't know there was a maximum number of additional projectiles. Or, no, it's just for this character. Because Rog does not have a limit. This guy does. So the answer is we want to go heavy on attack speed. Uh, oh, minimum crit chance. So to some degree, you can actually use crit as a dump, dump stat if you want. Interesting. All right, let's give him a shot and start the run. I've been looking forward to playing this game again for a while. Ooh, yeah, a lot of things have changed for the better. I know the events system has also changed pretty pretty dramatically. Uh, so let's just kind of lay out a very basic path here. I might go to the shop if I can somehow manage to get my, uh, my trick to work, but eh, I'm not betting on it. <laughs> Despite the fact that I did it, I should probably look up a guide so I can more reliably get it to work. Now, I also want to bet that the, uh, I do not actually have music on. I do not. I must have muted it after X number of runs in the previous, uh, previous version. You know, after a certain point, any amount of music gets repetitive. Unfortunately, my radio station doesn't get that much more. Oh, you can actually see, like, tags for things. So, this is wind, this is fire, this is darkness. Cool. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the... Uh, some of the basic things. Attack speed, reduce my base defense, sure. We can get my defense back, and I'm pretty sure I'm still missing some stuff, too. Uh, let's see, pickup range. I know movement speed is actually kind of... Well, this one's, I think, bad. Maybe it's better now? Uh, let's go for the... Actually, no, yeah, I... Hmm. Because I kind of want... Castle. Let's just grab the uh, Shaman Staff for the time being. Why did I grab the Magnet? Okay, and it looks like my audio has set up. It ain't a Wanderbot video without some level of uh, poking at all of my settings. Yeah, I guess what happened is all of my settings... Yeah, I'm gonna maybe take a hit here. Or I'm gonna be strong enough that I don't. Don't worry about it. We're fine. Perfect. Okay, blood pressure. Extra damage, reduce max health, regen, uh, magic wand. Yeah, I don't want to waste too many rerolls. Or... Do the rerolls come back, but not these? I think that might be the case. Size up. So bigger damage, projectile size, and knockback. So size up is good. Lens is also really good. But I'm going to go size up, and we're actually going to take a look at achievements. Because I have a whole bunch of them. 
And I think that's going to determine kind of how I play. I realize we're doing a lot of preamble before I actually get going here. So kill a million enemies. Oh, wait, no, I think I already have Berserker. Which ones do I not have? Oh, no, these are the ones. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. So I've definitely done crossbow. So D rank cursed challenge. So these are different challenge for cursed descend to hell. Do you have anything more interesting? E rank uh, chaotic playground. Oh, that's a new one. Dual wielding challenge. Uh, so shopkeeper investment, 12 weapons up to level one. Uh, die a bunch of times, start 50 runs. Kill 10 million enemies. Uh, kill a bunch of enemies with a crossbow. So crossbow, death aura, explosive vial, fire ring. So actually it looks like it's a bunch of kill achievements for kill X amount. Eat a lot of food, bunch of void magnets. Should probably do survival mode. So we're still trying to get down to negative 20 defense and negative 100 defense. So I guess, I, I guess I'm just going to try and go for as uh, low of defense as I possibly can on this guy. Uh, D rank run should be nice and long and should give me the chance to actually get what I'm looking for. Okay, and we want to kill X amount of monsters, so I might actually want to run around collecting uh, some resources. Also, the UI has improved dramatically. Uh, yeah, let's grab low pressure. We might be able to get the uh, the super magnet, but I might as well grab what I can. I wonder if this circle is my pickup radius. Like, there's obviously a little bit more UI clutter, but it looks better. To the point where I'd actually be kind of perfectly fine with being able to disable the uh, the dodge meter in the corner. You know what? I'm actually gonna banish Void. It's useless. Let's grab Tower. Uh, I might have, like, stupidly low defense, but I might as well, like, tank up my HP. There's there's no cost to that. And pick up whatever I can. Yeah, I really like this. I, I already know that my title for, uh... <laughs> my title for this video is, you know, my favorite bullet heaven just got ten times better, and... Maybe that's being a little hyperbolic. Ten, t ten times is a little hard, but like, already just in terms of this, feels good. Yeah, let's just pick up as many weapons as we possibly can. Student. He's not that good, but I'm still gonna grab it. There's no, there's almost no penalty for picking it up. Especially considering how slowly you level in this one. Okay, gold coin card selection. So we want to pick up a little bit of everything. Uh, no, that's defense piercing. I don't really like head bash. I might actually banish that as well, but we'll see. Ooh, question marks are actually way more interesting now. A group of monsters are nearby and a group of villagers are in a dire situation. What are you going to do? Ignore them, fight the monsters and save them. Kill them and steal their belongings. Oh boy. And giving away a soul card. Eh, fight the monsters so we get some EXP. Interesting and also kind of dark. That's very edgy, the ability to attack them. Ooh. Uh, a bookworm is kind of incredible. Let's see how many of these are super edgy. Uh, oh, investment. Sure. Well, that's interesting. Shopkeeper holds out his hand to collect the gold. He's silent and slowly turns it back and walks away with your investment. You have invested 1,000 gold, increasing your investment to 1,000 gold. Your permanent shop discount is now 3%. Is that a meta progression thing? Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's the next level of uh, bookworm. That's wildly overpowered. And I'm super glad that I got both of them so early. Uh, let's see. Projectile size, but reduces my attack speed. That's okay. Let's rarity reroll accumulation and fortress and void spirit. Hey, that's even better. Because, yeah, if I can get unlimited pickup radius, then I don't need to worry about anything. Yeah, we might as well just keep grabbing size up. Uh, split addi additional projectiles. It does hurt my projectile size pretty bad. Average, we do not want. Uh, let's see. I'm going to banish Iron Skin. It's useless. Same thing with Armorless. Yeah, I guess I'll go for Split. On kill, increased damage. Attack speed. Multi-handed. I'm going to grab a couple of these because we're, we're going to want to fuse. Oh, Cursed Book. Way more EXP and hurts my base defense, but that's fine. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Okay, so Heavy. 
Projectile size knockback, base damage, reduces projectile speed and slows me down. But huge max health upgrade. Sure. I can be a little slow. Because this character starts kind of fast and that base damage is going to be kind of handy considering these guys have 50,000 HP and I'm not particularly strong yet. Uh, crit damage, projectile lifetime. Yeah, it's okay. I guess we'll grab the Shaman Staff if only because why not. And I'm just gonna run circles. So recursion, extra damage multiplier, yeah. We haven't gotten to the point where I'm busted. Uh, banish average. Crit damage, but it reduces my crit chance. Yeah, I'll pick up absolute focus. That's a that's a big damage bonus. Obviously it's one in ten, but one in ten to do like goofy busted crit damage is worth it. And I can still kind of drag my crit chance higher. Uh, and like we could get head bash at this point, it wouldn't actually be terrible, but I'll get the other level of multi-handed. Get out of the pool, and this way I can start, um... Increasing this. So we don't want stone-handed that, that much, but I'll go for tower. Because I want to be a tanky boy. Uh, let's see. Analysis for the crit chance, or 50... Yeah, let's go for the crit chance. Okay, so this gets me more projectiles. Ooh, overloaded. Merge. This is the one I'm looking for. Because we can get merge and, like, overloaded. Because this will increase my projectile size and damage by a bunch. Because if I'm capped at 6, that means additional projectiles are actually a, um... They're a dump stat. When you're not moving, damage mitigation, multiplier... Uh, no. Penetration, projectile piercing, and defense piercing or on kill, the increased damage by 5% for two seconds, up to 150%. Let's go for the penetration for the time being. I don't know how much we actually need to care. We're leveling up so fast. Let's grab the uh, worm gland, because once again, I'm trying to get 12 weapons up to level one simultaneously, or a conversion. Lose pickup range, but convert it into AOE size. I don't actually know if I care about that one. However, um, blood transfusion is really good. I have a lot of max HP. Oh, tiny little mushroom men. That's fun. Okay, concentration damage multiplier, but attack area size? Sure. I don't think... I mean, I might care about AoE at some point. When you're moving, defense and damage multiplier. Yeah, sure. I'll just have to remember to stop once we're higher. Weak point or berserker. Now let's go for the weak point. We need the crit damage. Okay, we don't want this. Spear, consecutive attacks or projectile size. Okay, and there's the last of the bre uh, last of the blood transmutations. Let's see, cardio for the attack speed is kind of tempting. Let's do a rarity reroll on this and grab recursion. That's actually that's a big boost. And a couple of merges. Ooh, those little mushrooms are coming after me. Oh, now we're doing... Now we're doing damage. Now we're doing a lot of damage. I don't know what changed exactly, but I'm happy about it. Uh, let's see. So we can get split at this point. Get me back to the bonus projectiles. And we can grab Fractal. I'd like to grab Death Aura, but there's a decent chance we'll get another one. Okay, Blood Coast. Reduces my max... Regen, but that's not that big. Good base damage bonus. I think it's actually picking up recursion did the trick. Let's keep grabbing that and keep leveling up students. Okay, what do we want? Cleaver, Benediction, on taking damage, increased base defense. Nah, more analysis. I have missed this game. Can you tell? Maybe not. I don't- I- I notice I don't show emotions particularly aggressively. Uh, let's see, armorless, let's rarity reroll this one. I'll take the shaman staff. Worst comes to worst, we, uh, we do the anvil trick. I might have enough money. I don't actually know if I really care to get shaman staff up to level 8, but I don't not care. Alright, let's just kind of merc a bunch of these mid-bosses. I like the fact that they actually have uh, properties now, like the revive thing. I think that's cool. Let's see. Spear, lens. 
Yeah, I'll start working on lens. Because again, my crit damage is like in the thousands, so if I can reliably crit at some point, I'm going to become uh, pretty busted. Okay. What else do we want to do here? Oh, there's crossbow. We need to kill X amount of enemies with crossbow, so that should be a goal. Oh, this guy turns into a damage AoE on death. Interesting. So damage multiplier, but reduce attack size. Now I'm going to work on the crossbow. I think it's actually kill X amount with every single diff different type of weapon, so it doesn't matter that much. Reduce my attack speed, but overloaded? Sure. I'm going to snag it. Okay, area size here. I'm actually going to banish Damascus Steel. It's not good. I remember when I first started covering this game, I had somebody that was like super up in arms about why I wouldn't pick up Damascus Steel. And I, I stand by the fact that I don't actually think it's particularly amazing. That one's pretty good. But let's keep gra grabbing crossbow. We need some more attack speed before I want to start sacking it. Magnet. Yes! Okay, more crossbow, more merge, more merge. More merge. I might as well make the most of it. All right, there's the Dr. Livesy. I... I don't know, there's something kind of fun about enemies funk walking at you. It's great. I, mm, oh, Void Spirit. Hey, so now I can get rid of all of my pickup radius. It does mean that the pickup radius that I did invest into was kind of meaningless, but I can eventually get the conversion and use that to my advantage. Do we want to grab the last level of merge? Yeah. Anything I can get out of the pool is kind of valuable because the pool is clogged. It is huge. Okay. And yeah, keep grabbing that. I don't actually know what that circle did. But we should look around for instead, because I'm just supposed to be here for a time. Alright, I do not want Spite Shield. What I want to look around for is a magnet. Because if I can get a magnet to show up, we might actually be able to evolve the crossbow. Or not evolve, but get it up to level 8. I don't know if there's a crossbow evolution. But, uh, that would be cool. Okay, 10 string. Probably weak point. Yeah, we might not get a, get a magnet here. I'll keep looking, but... Let's see, and there's damage mitigation, which is kind of good. Actually, no, I think that's a negative. Uh, let's see, some warm gland or more accumulation. Let's actually rarity re-roll re that into recursion. There we go. Oh, right, I don't have to worry about a magnet. We already get everything. I'm a fool. Let's see, go for the analysis. I think the only thing I don't get to pick up here is the money, which might be okay. So max health multiplier, health regen, but that's a lot of damage. Uh, but let's go for the Berserker. We're killing a lot of things simultaneously, and a big old damage boost on top of it all could be kind of nice. Yeah, work on Penetration. I keep seeing Penetration having uh, defense in the name, and it uh, messes with me. Because it's defense penetration, but... Easy to confuse. Okay, so Worm Gland or Spear. I don't think it matters too much. Holy Cross is great. Uh, let's see, next level of Berserker. Next level of Penetration. Oh wait, there was the Wind Blade. Yeah, that's fine. My chances of getting all of the weapons, or 12 weapons up to level 1, is reasonably high. Okay, fight or flight, fight or flight. 
Yeah, because that's a huge dam uh, defense bonus when I'm moving, and only when I'm moving, which means... Uh, I can go back to sacking as much defense as I possibly can, if I'm lucky. Rust. Huh, that's a new one. Defense piercing. I like that. Uh, let's keep working on shuriken. I think shuriken of the uh, green tier weapons is my favorite. I don't actually know if it's the best. Uh, but just the sheer number of projectiles flying out simultaneously is great. Let's actually grab evasion, because I'm not dashing a lot. I don't really need to. I'm pretty fast and do a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. Cleaver, clumsy. Clumsy. Extra projectiles, but it reduces my base uh, base defense even further. I'm still trying to get to that negative 20. But you'd think after all this time, I would have succeeded. And no. It is going to be my white whale and then some. Uh, let's see. Go berserker. I just got to make sure I don't pick up a single thing. I wonder if I still have... I don't think I've increased my base defense. I certainly hope I haven't. Compromise. So, compromise is no good. Not at the moment. Uh, let's grab size up. Because I don't think there's a downside on that one. And it also gets it out of the pool. Oh! Was that a magnet, but for money? Huh. Magnet, for, but for money's pretty useful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play more of this. My problem is playing more of X or Y anything has become kind of a, a rough prospect for me. I want to, but time. Uh, let's see, so we don't actually want to pick that up. Let's, oh, Windblade. Oh, right, we have Fractal. I completely forgot we have Fractal. Let's see. God's Wrath, Shuriken. Some money. And two events. I'm not actually sure if I like the events as much anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to walk away. We'll, we'll get him again. The reason why is I want to use the, uh, I want to use the anvil trick to get a level 8 weapon, and I'm, I don't remember how much that costs, and I should be able to donate plenty of money when we get the chance. Uh, let's see. So, single-handed reduces my projectiles, yes, and gets it out of the pool. And gets me even more damage. Like, between my crit and my, uh, raw damage, we are just absolutely shredding things. Well, that was fast. Okay, what do we grab? Windblade, healing factor. Uh, it's banish healing factor. It's no good. Go for lens. Okay. Uh, we don't want crossbow. We want berserker. Curse bell. Sure. Unfortunately, I'm not injured. If I remember right, that would have been the trick for the healing, but it's fine. Uh. Oops. I must have given him 5k. It's fine. I think we should be okay. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, the limit break service is... way expensive. Never mind, then. Boy, when was it that pricey? That's right, screw it. We'll just save our money. Uh, let's see. Greed on coin pickup, get even more. So, gotta keep in mind that it's vaguely about 17k. Oh, I think what I, what I needed to do was I needed to have a level 7 weapon. One level 7, one level 6. Here's the boss. I mean, luckily, like, it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't. And we can always do it with another weapon. Is the boss... Oh, there's the boss. I was wondering what happened to him. Normally, this guy's kind of a threat, but... He ain't... Yeah, so let's just invest our money. We don't need anything fancy. Uh, let's see. 
Let's go weak point, weak point, and a corrupted core. Soul cards at max level can overcap any time, but less likely to appear. That sounds fun. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I actually don't know how many of these mystery rooms we want to go to. We do have an anvil up here. Yeah. Oh, that's just money, but it's reflecting. It's very bright. Go to a shop. Why not? Alright. There's a path. There might be a better way of doing it, but it doesn't matter. I don't I don't think so. Come at me, I am absurd. I'm absurd and I also need a lot of money. I might have to turn the sound effects down. Curse book. Keep producing my base defense. Heck yeah. Plus we want to level up as fast as we possibly can. Unless we've hit some kind of upper limit. I don't seem to be leveling at this mo moment. That's an interesting one. I wonder if I actually like... Can I... Can I check my stats? Twenty six K. What if I came across a bug that actually made it so I can't level anymore? That my EXP gain actually went over limit? No, we are actually gaining some. It's just really slow. Uh oh. That could be a problem. Uh or it could be kind of content. We'll see. Okay. We well, got this. We'll see if I level up. No, I'm gaining EXP. But it's in like odd chunks now. It certainly doesn't feel like it's going at a thousand per. Or a thousand percent per? No, okay, it's going. I was very worried for a hot second. Ooh, lightweight. I just want to get my defense down to negative 20, man. That's all that matters. Yeah, okay, we're leveling. It, it just seems to be coming in, like, very strange chunks. Uh, let's see. Do you want to go for cardio for the attack speed? Concentration or Lens. Uh, let's go for the Concentration. I don't really care about attack area. My poor Worm Gland is obviously being impacted by this, but... I don't mind that much. Yes, yeah, so we, we are leveling. It's just slow, which might be level 74. I, I almost wonder if it is slightly broken somehow, but I cannot comment how or why. Okay, so we want to banish Iron Will, because it's no good. Let's see, aiming. Reduced attack speed gives me a bigger damage multiplier and defense piercing. Tempting, tempting. Let's actually go for agility. Might as well have me go faster. Especially if we get the, the correct perk for it. Wow, oh, that's, that's a tanky bird. It ain't dying. I don't know what the, uh, the no symbol stands for. Okay, weak point, weak point. Get out of the way, give me that money. I wonder if the shopkeeper has, like, an odd leveling mechanic, like, uses money to level instead. Could be interesting. Okay, projectile size, lifetime, or greed? I don't know what level 2 out of 1 greed is going to do, but... Yes? Because it feels like no matter what, that could be really, really fun. Uh, let's see, do we banish muscle or do we just pick it up? I guess I'll grab Wind's Blade. 
Here's a question. Is there a way that I can actually check my... No, there is not. I wanted to see if there was a way that I could actually check my... the evolutions in the game. Because I don't actually remember what they are particularly well. Uh, do we grab trade-off at this point? Sure. I don't need the extra projectiles and that much extra attack speed is very much going to up, uh, counteract it. Plus, we can get stone-handed. Which I think kind of is a uh, penalty. I don't know. It's kind of a penalty. The spears flying and then fractaling is super silly. We should probably grab stuff like hypersonic. Let's actually do it. There's almost, there's almost no penalty for it. Things are just going to look much sillier, but it is a range increase, like a big one, too. Work on accuracy. I was so afraid that we were going to hit some kind of level cap. I don't know what happened on that one stage that made it so I stopped leveling. Uh, sure, blood transmutation. I haven't gotten hit, like, in forever, and I probably won't. I'm kind of scared of what would happen if I did. I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt. Uh, it's accumulation is... It's damage. It's there. Let's keep going, accuracy. Give me that crit damage. Uh, let's see. Tower for even more max health? Yeah, sure. I don't think the defense multiplier is actually what I want. I think it pushes me towards the positive. It could push me towards the negative. I have no idea. Okay, blood coats. Oh, that's defense piercing. So that's not what I'm looking for. Let's just go for lens. Okay, so we have blood coat trade off. Berserker level 4. Wizard's Ring. And I could re-roll. Let me get the next level of Berserker. I think that's going to be it. I, I don't really want to buy things from the shop. Uh, next level of Bookworm? Absolutely. Overworked. Crit damage, but... Hurts my max health. I mean, yeah. That actually does hurt my damage a little bit, but I think it's fine. But I forgot my spears actually do go in the direction that I'm going. On take damage, lust. It's there. I'm gonna grab spear level six. I wanna try and get something up to level nine. I just don't know if we're gonna have enough money. Oh, I must have gotten a lot of EXP from something there. Okay, double-edged sword is great. Let's see, fire spirit. Chance to ignite enemies on hit. 10% of your damage every... Yeah. That's real good. That's real good for bosses. They will just burn. Hey! Yeah, we might be able to... Overboost... Uh, let's see. Oh, double-edged sword. Yeah, I've got to pick it up. We're so close. All I need is one more upgrade that reduces my my max health or max defense, and we can at least get the the first of the things. I thought I already had it unlocked, but I guess I don't. Uh, let's see. Attack size. Start working on cleaver accumulation. I'll start working on accumulation. Yeah, and we'll go to the shop. There's like one or two items that I would like to pick up. Most of them, no. Mainly the one that converts uh, mer movement speed into raw damage. It would be pretty good for me.
Let's see, next level of concentration. Yeah, I'm just gonna have the world's smallest attacks. Okay, Spear, Cleaver. A little bit of accuracy would be good, but getting rid of accumulation seems like a good idea. Let's see, Compromise would give me my projectile back up to six, but I think I want to wait. I think there's one more that reduces. So I want to reduce, then regain. Because I'm not quite sure how it updates. Uh, let's see. Reduce my projectile size, but more projectile... Yeah. Go for that. Boy, I'm just shredding things. It's a good feeling. Go for the Wind's Blade. And grab the Magnets. We got everything. And a little bit of food. Okay, God's Wrath is big damage bonus. But I want to go for the attack speed. And we'll see if I have enough money to get what I'm looking for. What, is, what does that do? I have no idea. Are we getting, like, gold nugget looking things? Uh, let's see. Wind killing with fire, heal, max life, sure. And there's our magnet. I don't really need to move anymore. Uh, we have become actually too powerful. I do hope we get a higher difficulty level at some point. That's kind of what the challenges are for. But, uh, you know, just something to make me sweat. Aiming. Yeah, that's actually really good. Because I'm already firing, an firing off enough projectiles that I don't need to care too much. Oh, here's the one thing. We should probably collect enough money so that uh, when we pick up the magnet... Uh, I actually don't know what that's going to do. Hey, recursion. Wow. Corrupted Core is nuts. Okay, we actually have a couple of these magnets. There we go. On crate broken, increase area size. Uh, sure. I don't actually care about that one. It's not that good, but again, remove it from the pool. If I could have way more banishes than I currently do, uh, that would change things a little bit, but... Okay. Ooh. Overboost on lens? I guess the one problem with removing anything from the pool is my pool is, uh... Bit... Er... It takes a little bit longer with that Corrupted Core. It's still worth it, and a lot of these options are kind of fun. Okay, start working on Cleaver? Yeah, start working on Cleaver. Yeah, just as soon as this takes over, we hit that magnet. I guess we've got a second one, so I might as well hit hit that one. Just move on up. Pride on Elite Kill, extra EXP gained. Yes. Yes, I don't mind if I do. That's even more EXP on top of all of the other EXP that I've already got. All magnets. All crates. Break them all. Okay, what do we have? Lightweight. Yes, lightweight. So we now have flesh. To hell with armor, nothing beats the flesh. I'm actually not kidding with this one. Uh, screw it, I don't, I don't need to get any weapons up, up to level 9. Busted as that could, could be. Uh, cool down between dashes, extra dash charges, absolutely. I'll grab multi-handed, at least for now. I don't think I'm going to play this character because of the projectile limitation, but is really good. <laughs> Holy smokes, accumulation. My damage is too high. I love it. Okay, what do we want to do? Hypersonic? Absolutely. I don't know what that potion pickup thing looks like. Oops. There's a magnet. Unfortunately, most things are dying instantly. Like, this is no... Ooh, concentration? Yeah. Okay, those are magnets. I guess I can snag this one. And then we'll kind of just chill. What I really want is that alchemist blade. That... That would really help this run. But, I, you know what? We'll get it at some point. I'm just going to keep working on the on those investments. Uh, ooh, or conversion. But that's area size. We don't care. What about heavy? 
slows me down, but makes my projectile sizes bigger, knockback bigger, base damage bigger, and max health uh, pretty good. And then we're just surviving. And the time survivals are incredibly valuable to me because I kill things too fast, and so it's not particularly useful on my end uh, to go for a kill quota run. Unless, of course, you know, I'm not leveling anymore and I don't want to. I wonder if the flesh is actually going to show up. Now let's just go for aiming. Okay, snag a couple of these. Looking good. Uh, let's see. Next little pyromaniac, projectile speed, worm gland. Nah, let's go pyromaniac. There is there is a potential world where I will take damage in the next region. I doubt it. Um But it's it's there, it's a thing that could happen. Let's see. Armorless. No, we still don't want it. Gosh, I have I could get up to thirty thousand damage though. If it shows up in the final region, I'll pick it. I'm, I'm just hoping Flesh is going to show up. It's unlikely to. But if it shows up and I can get down to negative 100 defense, oh, that's going to be even better. Okay, we actually have a couple of these magnets. Um, let's see, area size, light armor. Nah. Alright, end of stage. Give me them magnets. Give me them everything. Just give me that food. Okay, so what do we have? I'm just gonna kind of pick pick whatever. I think it is. Uh, oh. Yeah. Over boosting a weapon would be nice, but it ain't gonna happen. Uh, no, we don't want that. Start working on God's wrath. I, I don't want to reduce stage requirements. That sucks. So I can get a weapon up to level 8. 9... I'd have to do a card select... Wait. I can do it. But I can only do it with Wind's Blade. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, let's grab Pike. Whatever, I'll live. That sucks. That sucks so hard. And it's fine. I could have looked at my math, but honestly, Wind's Blade being level 8 is stupid good. There is the possibility we'll get the Sylph Blade, at which point, yeah, but it just doesn't matter. No. Pork statue. Eh, that's good. Okay, celerity. Let's go for the celerity. My attack speed's kind of low. Alright, and all of these are just kill quotas. Luckily, this region is super small, so we can just kind of chill and do whatever. Oh, good, and we got a magnet right, up, right off the get-go. Oh, I don't know if we're actually going to get those 12 weapons. Uh, do we even know how many weapons I have? Nope. Yeah, trying to get 12 weapons up to level 1 might actually be super hard. At least I seem to be getting, like, crazy EXP here. Uh, on Soul Pickup, increase EXP gain. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Black Blood, Defense Piercing, Pike. Uh, let's see. Let's just get Spear up. I don't really care. I'm gonna banish practice. It's bad. It's not like super bad, but it's, it's not great. Keep going, Cleaver. Okay. Oh, Thunderstaff. We've got an achievement called Arc Lightning. 
I don't think that's the gunner upgrade, though. It must be something else. Hey, another level of envy. That's that's fun. Can I check the map here? Nah, I. It just doesn't matter. Like, it'd be it'd be nice to get a level nine weapon, but I just don't care. Uh, let's see what we're here. Let's just um. I'm just gonna banish range. And then re-roll this mess. To some degree, you know what? I think I am going to grab the uh, banished defensive cards as much as I'd like to grab flesh. I don't know. Just work on the worm gland. It's just my pool is too big and I need to clear it. Wind ring is okay. Let's see, projectile size, stone hat, handed. So that's extra projectile, no. Attack speed, but it hurts my, damn it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, next level of pyromaniac. Compromise, that's base damage. And there's a magnet. I'm just gonna hang out and sit next to magnets. I realize that this might be kind of this weird experience for people that haven't seen this game before where I'm effectively so powerful that I'm no longer I'm no longer playing the game, I'm just kind of here. Um I can respect that, that some people might want a more active bullet heaven, but I almost kind of consider this to be kind of a subgenre of incremental games at this point. Oh, where did where did that magnet go? I have Oh there it is. I shouldn't walk away from it. At least not too far. These guys are more than willing to just come bearing resources for me. Uh, let's see. Grab all my resources. Keep doing worm gland. Okay, we have a couple of timed ones. But, like I said, kind of this sub-genre of incremental where it's uh, incremental or idler or something where you kind of build your your build up uh trying to like making decisions along the way but eventually just kind of sitting back and letting the game play itself what is that somebody shooting at me that can't be allowed that's illegal Well, I can safely say that I'm... It didn't matter. Uh, sharp edge? Sure. One of these is actually going to force me to pick up a defensive thing. And I'm going to be slightly... Slightly grumpage. At least we got the, uh... Thing that gives me extra... Oh, no, we probably just evaded it. Yeah. Alright, benediction? Nah, let's keep doing God's Wrath. Right, and this is a timed mission. I like those. Because that means I got a minute and a half to accrue as much EXP as possible. Now the one problem is, I'm such a high level that it is actually going to take... Uh, it takes a lot of EXP to level up at this point. Hey, there's our... There's our magnet. I think also, I don't know if that greed bonus works. Uh, let's see, projectile size, projectile speed. More speed, give me the range. Wow, that hurt. I gotta watch out for that a little bit. Okay. Oh, I did, did pick up the magnet. I guess I'll have to find another. Oh, oh, well, there we go. So, I wonder if this actually goes away. Uh, right as the timer ticks over. So, what I might want to do is actually hit the magnet at about 1.30 instead. Uh, let's see. Sharp edge? Sure. Because I might actually be losing out on amount of gold. Because each gold picked up gives me 1% extra gold up to 50%. And so, if I lose that, I lose effectively 50% of my gold. 
if I see a second magnet, though, I'm going for it. Banish average. <laughs> my base damage is already absurd. And so even though this hurts my crit chance even further... Oh gosh, you could just get two of those. You could get, actually get two averages with this setup. That's nutty. Because what you what that means to some degree is that it's, uh, I mean that's that's a huge damage bonus, like stunningly large. Go for sharp edge. Let's see. I'm gonna pick up a magnet until I have another magnet. Here we go. You know what I actually wish this game had? I, w I wish this actually had some upgrades that uh, increased the number of enemy spawns. Like, kind of those difficulty spawners that actually increases their HP. Uh, like, oh, whatever the box is from Vampire Survivors. This is not Pandora's box, is it? Eh, it's something kind of in that vein. Boy, that sound effect gets uh, slightly repetitive. It's still kind of satisfying listening it, listening to it build up. But I think if I play more of this, I might want to nix that. Just for a little while. Or like turn it down further, I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, let's just keep grabbing money. I'm just going to have to keep in mind where that magnet is. And not pick it up. Until 1.30. Uh, let's see. Defense piercing, but I just don't care for head bash. My my problem is talking about removing things from pools. Oh, I think I did grab it. I'll see if I can get another one. I mean, we don't need money that bad. We do, if only because I want to specifically. Uh... Oh, there's there's another. Whoop. Got it. Hopefully the gold buff doesn't go away, but it kind of feels like it does. Uh, let's see, do I wanna... Nah. Let's get Pike out of the pool. Alright, mid-boss wave. Ah, it's not timed. But it doesn't need to be timed. Movable object, worm gland. Yeah, let's just get worm gland. Because I, I think I think we only have like eight weapons, maybe ten. Let's see if I can count them. Windblade, Pike, both of my staves. Let's see, Windblade, Pike, Spear, Stave one, Stave two. Crossbow. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably missing more. Adventurer's License. More items in shops and are of better quality. Well, that's kind of fun. Kind of late, but wait, really? I didn't know that Corrupted Core could actually let my weapons go over boost. Well, that's... That's silly. Oh, they're, they're, oh gosh. Um, I think I won. I think he exploded all up on me and did not make it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a that's a different one. All right, let's, let's finally grab compromise. I should really check to see if there is a um, anvil at this point. There probably is, but I also don't know how much I care. Uh, let's see, area size, nah, I don't care. I don't care for any of these. Note to self, potentially invest in like way more banished charges. Like extra dashes are nice, don't get me wrong, but they don't really matter.
Fiery Dash. Oh, Fire Spirit and Dash. When you dash, inflict burn on nearby enemies. That's a new synergy I haven't seen before. Okay. Yeah, so here's the question. Do we want to do a time survival, or is this starting to get kind of slow? There is an anvil at the end. I have a lot of money. I'm going to go here anyway, just in case I can get another investment. Luna, Vild. Let's go Vild. Grow your health. Cards with a wild tag are more likely to appear. Huh. Oh, I mean, growing health is good. I... The only thing I don't want is defense. As defense is functionally unnecessary for me. We might actually even get the flesh. Maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's see, armorless. You know what? I'm gonna snag it at this point. It makes me even stronger, and now we no longer have any defense cards in the pools. Yeah, that gets rid of flesh, but so be it. Uh, let's see, pickup range, marathon, muscle, magnifying crystal, EXP gain by 50%. Uh, that's good. Snag all of our money. There is a lot of it. I do not. I wish I knew what my um, explosive mix. I don't know what that is. I, I'm getting a couple of achievements, which is nice. Oh, interesting. I get the uh, speed boost for proccing evasion. Huh. Okay. Defense piercing. Sure. Do we go for a chest, or do we do... Let's do one more. Minute and a half, and it's Horde. I think, actually, this this would have been... I should have probably been picking Horde fights for a while. I guess this is why they specifically don't... Uh, why it would be a bad idea to have... <clears throat> Let's see. Well, there's the Thunderstaff. I just, we don't really want to get Thunderstaff up to level 9. Do you see how small that is? <laughs> My AoE is ludicrously small. Alright, let's just, um... Ooh, Spike Boots. When you dash, activate your on-take damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a number of these. I guess there's a bunch of really good dash synergies. Unfortunately, I don't actually think I have any on-take damage <clears throat> synergies that I'm really benefiting from, but whatever. Oh boy. Oh, projectile size. Maybe I should actually take that seriously. I should maybe also take my damage seriously. Oh, I died. <laughs> I should have not been dashing around, but it's fine. It's fine. That was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? Because we got the... I, I gotta just double check. So we filled that out. Defense is, yes, has not been boosted. There's nothing else here. Uh, so base damage multiplier is pretty good. What I want is damage. Or not damage, uh, banish. That's reroll, which is nice and isn't too expensive. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty pricey too. Okay, let's go back, let's go back to this and let's go for some of the low-hanging fruit. Uh, let's just max out the re-rolls. Or maybe not max out, but increase damage mitigation, additional projectiles. Okay, and then we don't have enough for anything more. That's fine. Hey, cool, you can also sell things. Uh, so if I do a start a new run, can I change my avatar? Do we, so we don't, we almost have the shopkeeper. And yeah, we did not get the gunslinger. So, I like the rogue, I think I'd still go back to Night Rog just because. Uh, we do... Ooh, starting corrupted. S starting corruption. Oh. I didn't even notice this. I should have turned that on. <laughs> that probably would have helped uh, make the game a little bit spicier. 
I, d I don't know if it's just soul coin. I would love it if it also gave like more enemies and therefore more EXP, but is what it is. So, oh, these talents, oh. What if these talents, no, no, these do not go with the gunslinger, but they level up. That's an interesting choice. They all level up. So every 21 levels. Ah, uh, so these are kind of expensive to level. Yeah, so this one did gain a level, one projectile every 29 levels up to three. So it just makes it so it shows up faster. Okay. So we might actually want to snag... Let's get rid of Gilgamesh's legacy. We might want to pick up the Sunstone and level that one up. Because that one actually gives us some EXP gain. Not a huge amount, but it's there. I really like all of these different changes that have been added to this game. It feels a lot better and has more, way more things for me to play around with. And the multiple, play, play, multiple playable characters are kind of cool too. I would love to see if there was like a import your own sprite mode. Uh, or even like DIY character. Uh, maybe you don't get nearly as much progression, but you could kind of tool, tootle around with it. Maybe not. Maybe, I, I know there is a mod that lets you just replace the sprite. Because I think it could be kind of fun to like make my own wander bot and just put it in. I know I already have the helmet in game, but yeah, yeah I don't know. Oh, that's amusing. I think these are just uh, these are just vestigial because they're just uh, packed into either rog mode or survive mo survivor mode, plus the challenges, which I think we need to start doing again. Because some of these are going to be really good. The soul coin gain from that. Oh, there's also hard mode. Hard mode, true snuffhead's favorite. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a new one. I didn't, I didn't know there'd be a hard mode for these, but yeah, we should we should probably get the weapons card drop chance upgrade. That'll give me the uh, gunslinger much faster. But for now, anyway, Rogue Denicia's, uh version 0.8 uh, just came out today, and it's real good. If you guys haven't tried this game yet, it is by and far my favorite bullet heaven on the market. It's so much fun, and I don't think there's anything else I can really say about that. It's also only five bucks, so like, I don't know. If you're a fan of the genre, do yourself a favor and give this one a shot. It might take a couple runs before it, like, really starts hitting, but boy, once it does, it is good. But with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.